What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at Helldivers 2 again here, a little bit updated, different video here on both SteamOS and Windows this time because I wanted to include that. And that's gonna be on the LCD. We're still waiting for some audio drivers and other things for the OLED, I'm kind of holding off on that. So for Windows, I'm using the LCD here, Helldivers 2, and performance is really similar to over on SteamOS. I think maybe sometimes SteamOS is a little bit more stable when it comes to certain uh, aspects of the game, but for the most part, like the frame rate, frame times, all that, with four gigs of VRAM set for both, and the settings here being at 800p quality FSR and lowest on everything else for the low preset with motion blur off. Performance is generally very, very similar, and it's also going to vary depending on where you're at, like which planet, and that has been changing since launch. Enemy types, how many of en enemies being in a group, and you can see here 29 FPS, and then back up to 37, and then into the 40s, but frame times ultimately aren't too bad. They hold pretty good even at the lower frame uh, rates here. Sometimes better than SteamOS in certain aspects of the frame time, but overall stability, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like SteamOS doesn't fluctuate as much but you know these things change with driver updates and game updates and things like that and while there's certainly a lot of room for improvement i'm still pretty happy with the way helldivers 2 is running on the deck including on windows here windows 11 um, to be precise and four gigs of vram set in the bios and of course the low preset there and targeting the 800p it all works pretty well and even when we sing down into lower frame rates i mean even when i've seen like 22 23 fps here when i've been in some really heavy uh firefight areas it did, at least didn't crash or freeze or do anything that like made me die i certainly felt the lower fps but it still ran okay if that makes any sense and i think probably a 30 fps lock you know on windows especially probably over on SteamOS as well, and we'll mention that there when we take a look. Um, might be the way to go if you want to kind of hammer things down there. But uh, yeah, Windows performance is actually pretty good. But overall, we are still waiting on those OLED drivers from Valve. We do have the GPU ones, but we're missing like the audio and some other ones. And while there are some like workarounds and stuff, I'm really kind of waiting for all the official stuff. And then we'll jump into the OLED because I really love that screen. I think it would be great to check out Windows for that. But anyways, the LCD was working fine here for this testing. And overall performance for Helldivers 2, like I said, it's very similar to SteamOS. It's not a big difference here. And we'll jump over and take a look at SteamOS as well. And the 4 gigs of VRAM certainly is needed because if you're set at the one gigabyte default, it does tend to induce more stutter and frame time issues. So if you're having some trouble, you might want to take a look at that. Now jumping over here to SteamOS, running the exact same settings as we are, were over on Windows. Not that it's a comparison, but leaving everything uh, the same there. And the only difference really is I went ahead and activated HDR for parts of this video for the overhead recording. And man, I hadn't checked out HDR in this game yet or on the deck at least. And it looks really phenomenal on this screen. I really enjoy HDR gaming on the Steam Deck OLED. I think Valve's done a fantastic job bringing uh, PC HDR gaming to life, at least for me. It just seems to work really well on here. And this game and many others, but especially this one too, looks fantastic on this screen this way. And Helldivers 2 is just turned out to be a lot of fun and I'm really having a great time with it. And even though performance can get a little janky here in the frame times and we can dip and all that. And again, you might want something like that 30 FPS cap. It does still run well here. Again, I'm not experiencing like a lot of crashes or issues. And even when frame times uh, get iffy and there's some stutter induced and stuff like that, I'm still able to pretty much, you know, stay alive and get into things and have a good time. And it doesn't ruin the experience as to where some games with those lower FPS and those dips when you're not locked can actually be a lot more janky and stuttery and have a lot more issues so at least overall that's not too bad and of course when things get super busy you're going to have those frame rate drops just like over on windows just like here and in my past video i showed hell divers running as well in some areas where you're down in the 20s and you know the harder uh, levels you're playing and having a full group and you know the more enemies it's just is going to suffer more and there are going to be times that you really are playing in the 20s um, but again, I haven't really had it crash or give me major issues besides that trying to run it here on the Steam Deck, be it on SteamOS here or Windows, as long as I had that four gigs of VRAM. I did have some issues with the one gig, so that is something to keep in mind. But 
Definitely, if you have the Steam Deck OLED, if you have Helldivers 2, I highly recommend clicking HDR on and checking that out. It doesn't really affect the performance here from the comparisons I've looked at from my past uh, video and then turning on the HDR and taking a look here. So it looks really nice and I think it's worth it on the OLED screen if you're uh, playing here, unless you're trying to save battery life and reduce the brightness and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, guys, Helldivers 2 is a blast. Caught me by surprise, really having fun, and it runs pretty decent on the handhelds, at least decent enough to be able to play on there and have a decent time. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.